Guys, are you ready for a face reveal? Well, it's not going to be for a couple more days because I still have the cast on. I almost tricked you guys. You thought you were getting the full face. You don't get the full face for another few days. I haven't even seen it yet myself. I have no idea what to expect. I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit anxious. Today, we are going to be taking a look at some of the high elemental gameplay, the new Second Awakened high elemental gameplay in RTA, some Guardian players. Maybe we'll find some G1, G2, G3 players. I saw some with Shren. We're definitely going to see that. We'll see what else we can find in RTA and how they're using him and what teams they're using him with. Them. Them with. First one on list, Shren, the Light High Elemental, the same one we actually saw yesterday. So he's picking uh, HP-based uh, pure damage dealers, and then he also has the Shren in there, and he was also picking uh, the, the, the speed leads, right? He was picking the speed lead, and he was, well, the speed lead and swift tableau, it looks like a swift tableau. And, um, and he's going for just a 1-2 shot, right? So he's got the 1-2 shot there. And then Shren comes in, heals the Mo long up a little bit, does some ignore defense damage to the Fire Art Master. Fire Art Master's been getting so popular this season. So now he's got the speed buff and the attack power buff. So that, uh, that, I was going to say the Ryu. <laughs> the water Ryu is going to do quite a lot of damage. But, uh, well, the, uh, what's his face? The water striker. It's going to do a lot of damage. We're about ready to see that uh, Shren come back. So as soon as she gets another turn, she's going to heal up the... Well, actually, she's going to heal up herself, isn't she? Because she's going to have the least amount of uh, HP. She's got the cross attack. Uh, let's see. I'm not really counting the cooldowns on her. And unfortunately, that's not... I mean... I don't know. Sometimes unfortunately, sometimes fortunately. Because you, if it's a passive, you can't really reset it. But uh, it would have been nice. She did have a, a larger heal amount, though, before. So there we go. We got the little uh, HP redistribution there. Uh, and now it's just a matter of seeing if this uh, Water Striker can 2v1, 1v2. <laughs> can you tell how much meds I'm on, guys? <laughs> no, Bagel, it sounds like you're on the normal amount of meds. You're probably always on normal amount of meds. Uh, no, I'm on, I'm on some meds today. Lols. But that was at least uh, pretty cool to see. Nice combination with Mo Long, because you can do the 1 2 combo, and then you can also heal up to Mo Long uh, after that as well, or at, at the beginning of her turn as well. Same thing, same team, same strategy, right? He's got to pick the Tableau and Dark Pioneer. Okay, and I'm sure both of those are on uh, Swift. Right? That's what it's looking like. So Tableau is going to go. Uh, since they didn't have immunity, he just went for skill uh, 2. Fast units, though. Fast units. So he does need to come in with the Shren, and he does need to... Well, that should still... That first uh, attack should still kill it. Right? So, wow. Insta-kill. Well, that's what happens when you have... Uh, when you have that much speed on a unit, and it's an attack-based unit. Um, still, she she took enough damage from that, uh, that Beast Rider in human form. Not gonna happen the same with uh, Nat 5 uh, HP-based units, but... You know, like when she was going for the uh, the Mo Long, but there you go. It's uh, again the same, basically the same team. It's it seems weird to see the Tableau and the uh, Wunsa, the Dark Pioneer, in there as well, because usually you don't see those two units in like the HP based teams. With with a little bit of exception, Baryon was running a Jameer Tableau, uh, Mo Long, Ikari's Daphnis kind of thing back. I don't know, like a year and a half ago, I want to say. Uh, so, you, but it, but this way is a little bit different. Usually, you see like the Tableau and the Wunsa in like a fast control team. This is just a fast HP based pure damage uh, team. Shren number three. We are we already know what we're gonna see uh, coming from the left hand side. Actually, we don't. We have the Okianos now. I guess he didn't want to have the Oki Gani lockdown situation. Bans the Okianos, right? So he's gonna come in with that AOE inhale magic, uh, and then he's gonna come in with a Molong reckless assault on Ganymede. Dark Twister is just going to be enough to kill it, so he didn't have to do anything crazy. One shot the Ciara, and now that monkey's going to take... I thought the monkey was going to take, uh, take, take that down, but yeah. So he could have gone for the kill shot on the Shren, but he didn't want to. He, didn't, uh, he, he opted against it. Which, unfortunately, now means that she's going to get healed up again. But yeah, it's just... It's, it's still easy to take these, uh, 
these high elementals down. I'm curious how fast these units are on his team. Because they're not like sitting at like one f like uh, plus one fifty or anything. They're sitting uh, definitely higher than that. So I'm kind of curious to see how fast it's a Japanese players. So are they violent proccing or are they on potentially swift? I don't think they're really violent proccing, are they? Could be swift. Could be just all swift. Japanese players like to play really, really, really fast. So this is just kind of the meta on their. Uh, on their thing yeah five five more uh points of damage and he's done gg shred match number four right so i'm liking this uh shred gameplay style he goes for that's got to be a swift oki right so it's got to be a swift oki does he get swift oh he's not even he's not even on will runes he's not even on will runes he zaps that spear of devastation into See, I was actually expecting the... Well, they, they had the, the, uh, the CRS speed lead. But uh, I was expecting that to go a little bit different. And no will runes, though. Interesting. I mean, it's something we could have just paid attention to beforehand. Paid attention to in the other matches. Just, I get... You, you know how I am. I'm like, oh, no will... I, like, I, I don't notice the no will runes. Other people, that's the first thing they th that they notice. They're like, why is there no will runes on that? I'm like... That just looks like a normal monster to me. Like, no, it needs it needs will runes. It needs will runes. So, uh, there you go. Very interesting. These are very very fast units though that they're that they have on their uh, on their team. I'm really curious. I'm gonna see if I can find. Sometimes we can. Sometimes we can't. I'm gonna see if I can find the actual stats for some of these units uh, on the Japan server. Like if they're on the leaderboards or anything, and they happen to have like the same build for regular and RTA. Uh, I'll see if I can find those and put them in the somewhere in the video. You know the best part about this is this guy has a Tian Lang and he's not even bringing him in until now. Now he brings the Tian Lang, right? So we don't see the Dark Sylphid. We see a Tian Lang come out instead. So he still has that uh, Inhale Magic. He still... Oh, Bastet resisted. Bastet resisted, but Tian Lang does come in, does Tian Lang things. Uh, snipes... Snipes, and then it's basically GG. This is the, the power of Tian Lang, right? Basta comes in, she does her skill 3. It doesn't really matter because Tian Lang's just going to come in and cut right after that. So, next match we can expect about the same from this. Actually, we can't because we have a Chandra in the mix as well. So, bans out the Akaris. He still does that, have that 1-2 combo, right? So, he's going to inhale magic. That's also going to push up the Ragdoll team's attack age, though. Not quite enough. It used to be able to push it up uh, enough, and then Ragdoll's attack each push-up was uh, nerfed. So, not quite enough anymore. Doesn't get enough to, to kill the Oki. Increases the cool time on the Chandra, of all things. Well, I mean, I guess there wasn't uh, really much aside from Chandra that he could have really done. He could have done, like, the Mo Long skill, too, but... I have seen this guy using the Chandra, though. <laughs> like, legit using Chandra. <laughs> not even as a meme. He's doing good with Chandra, too. After the buff. Chandra's got an attack age boost as well. So. There we go. Dragon's Dance. Takes care of that uh, Oki. So, let's see. What happens now. And remember, every time she gets a turn, she is going to uh, heal. So, barely, barely a little, little tiny bit of heal. But uh, I think that's, uh, I think that's game. I think that's game. Maybe. Or Ragdoll solos. Is Ragdoll on, uh... He's not on Vampire, is he? No, he definitely does not solo. GG. Here is different player now. Similar kind of strategy. He's using some uh, bruisers. He did pick the Molong in there. Molong got banned out, but he's got the, um... The Water Demon to make up for that. And then he's got two different things to passively... Not passively, completely passively heal, but uh, he's got the Shren, which uh, will do the passive heal, and he's got the Yen Hong, which does a heal as well. But he's got two big, uh, two big damage dealing bursts. So let's see if they actually burst anything down, because right now she just looks like she's gonna die. Okay, <laughs> so she really didn't, she really didn't do too much. She gets CC'd, she gets killed pretty quickly. That's why we're not seeing a ton of people using her. Um, but let's see if. That should definitely kill. Yeah, that should definitely kill that monkey. So, 
Uh, now he just comes back with the rest of everything. And the water demon, um, if if he was to kill the water demon, he's actually been playing with this. The, the, this guy's been playing with this water demon too. If he was to kill the water demon, then every time he cycles more turns, the water demon has his little countdown when he's dead, and he eventually comes back. I think it's twelve turns or something like that. He comes back from the dead uh, with full attack gauge, not overfilled attack gauge, not get, grants an instant turn, uh, just full attack gauge and a shield. So he can still be and, and little HP and a shield. So, he could still be killed after that, but we really didn't get to see too much of the Shren. She just got CC'd a little- well, she, no, she resisted the CC, didn't she? And then she got kind of nuked down because she has to have uh, attack power and crit rate and crit damage to do her damage. So, she doesn't have- uh, she didn't have a ton of HP and defense. This one is not a high elemental. I was just looking through and I saw this and I said, what is going on here? You guys are going to enjoy seeing this. It's interesting, it's different, it's not something you're gonna see every day, right? So we got the... <laughs> the one that was banned was the Fire Bear. So we have uh, some strips on the, the where, on the bottom side, we have some strips, we have some defense breaks, we have some, uh, some nukes, we have some turn cycling as well, but on the top team, there's just a whole bunch of speed-based uh, damage. So the comeback is there, uh, that's gonna strip into a glancing. And then magic exposure. That all has that just has to do the one on the uh, on the beast rider to get another turn. So this is basically game. But what a wacky team. Maybe they have extra damage based on the HP lost. Because if I was going to use that uh, that uh, light bison, that's how I would do it, with extra damage based on uh, extra damage based on HP lost, or attack up uh, when HP is uh, when HP is down. So, get some little extra juice out of that. I just thought it was a crazy enough match to like actually see, uh, to actually show you guys. This one is very exciting, very much unexpected. He is using the Wind High Elemental Moria. So she has a team up on skill three. So let's see. It also increases the attack age of the unit that uh, it teams up with, right? So we got the strip into a CC. We've got the concentrated attack. Does a little bit of a damage. Get the passing time. Okay, gets the mock punch. Not really anything too crazy there. We didn't see any uh, team up and then something die and then things get like completely locked down by her skills or anything, right? So let's see uh, some more strips. Let's see how squishy she is. So it looks like she has maybe 30,000 HP, roughly. I want to say. Gets resisted. But she is a wind DPS unit. They do have... Uh, two water units on the board. Or they had three water units on the board, but one of them was banned out, wasn't it? If I recall, uh, recall correctly. So let's see, Moria's not really doing too much right now. She's got a glancing hit, which is even better. <laughs> Gets a cross attack. Wait, 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 wait. Was she on, no, no, she, st she stuns now. She stuns, I was, I was gonna say, was she on despair? She stuns now with that first skill. So. That was not a Despair uh, High Elemental, that was just a first skill stun from her new Second Awakening. She gets the first skill stun. So he's actually winning with this team. And that also increases the attack age of the Okeanos when they team up together. Let's see some more Moria. This guy is a trooper, he's bringing Moria, the Wind High Elemental, into, into RTA. Even after the Second Awakening, I still feel like that's uh, that's some balls there. <laughs> That's, that's some balls. All right, let's see. So she's pretty fast. She actually is... Yeah, she's pretty fast indeed. Did some decent damage. Already dismounted the Fire Beast Rider. Gets the nuke. But it doesn't count because Trion is passive. So now she just one-shots Moria. 11,000. Okay, so Moria's got like 22,000 HP. I mean, it's a high elemental. How much HP is it really going to have? Because you, 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 gotta, you gotta do the damage with it, right? It doesn't have crazy high base HP or anything, but... Yeah, these things are just gonna go... Super squish. I don't think any of them are really that tanky, are they? Some of them are like, like the, the light one is like 11,000 HP, but not like, like 500. Now is 500 defense, 11,000 HP after Second Awakening, but... Uh, the rest of them still, they're, they're tankier, right? They'll survive longer, but they're still not gonna... It's still not going to be anything amazing. So. Not anything too amazing. Alright, that's, uh, 
That's GG, right? That's GG here. Alter ego attack. I was gonna say kills the Ciara. Doesn't kill the Ciara though. Eventually Ciara is gonna die, and then that's just gonna be GG. So yeah, there, there we go. There we go. There we go. He's so committed to Moria. He's still using Moria. Still, still, still. Then we have the uh, the Light Demon and the Leo. Sometimes you see that with like a Lucian or a Julie or stuff like that, right? The Light Demon Leo combination. So doesn't ban the Moria, even though she's so super OP. Uh, Millennium Melody, which means attack age uh, boost and also attack power buff. Blade Slaughter does that kill that kills the monkey, and then gets a violent proc. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's basically game. That's basically game at that point. She's got the stun on, on first skill, but uh, it's gonna need a lot to come back from that. Oh, you know he's getting some violent procs too. I still think he needs a lot to come back from this. He needed that stun there. Yeah, he needed that stun there. All right, that's GG. But uh, hey, at least he's bringing Moria into things and seeing uh, seeing how she does. Again with the Moria. You know, that's that's what we love to see. We love to see someone trying out these new units. Even if it's potentially gonna gonna give them a handicap. But uh, just to try them out and see see if they're really anything worth uh, worth building. So increase the attack age. Did you see the increase the attack age on the uh, the water striker? And then promise time deletes that uh, deletes that unit. So now he's just going up against three bruisers. But the issue is that uh, Molly is just going to keep healing on that team. So he's got to somehow do enough. Yeah, he figured he was not not going to burst through that Molly. Because after that fourth unit was already down, then the Molong is the only damage dealing unit. So you'd have to like Molong skill three into a violent proc a defense break. And then uh, maybe Harmonia is on crit damage or something and she does, like, she knocks something off, like maybe the Ciara or maybe the Moria or something like that, and then you have more of a chance, but, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a rough uphill battle from there. So here's another one using Shren. However, they're not using Shren with the Mo Long and the Akaris that we saw before. They're using Shren with a Ciara, Bastet, Yen Hong, so, and a Juno, right? So, uh, let's see what happens here. They have two speed leads. They've got a Strip, um as well. Oh, the Yen Hong was fast in both of the- well, the Yen Hong had a speed lead too. That must have been a swift Yen Hong, right? So, uh, gets the bomb onto Vanessa, and then probably going to- I would say going to snipe. Well, see- see if that, uh, AoE actually strips anything. It does not. Does it strip the- it does strip the- the, uh, the rock girl- it does strip the high elementals, uh, buffs though. So she does not have that attack power buff that she needs for her, uh, ignore defense. So they still they still wound up conceding though. Maybe this is not maybe we're not seeing the whole match, but uh, but yeah, this is just another way that they're uh, they're bringing this in. Here is yet another Ciara Bastet. This is I think the same person Ciara, but yeah, they have Yen Hong too. Ciara Bastet Yen Hong. Uh, Diana bans the Bastet though, bans the Dark Demon. Still has the Ragdoll Viva Chell combo. Okay, so gets the uh, the triple hits. Strips and uh, then gets a bomb. That's not gonna be enough. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough to finish off the Viva Chell. Lots of times Viva Chells are super, super tanky. Uh, I don't think this Kali without, not Kali, the Shren without uh, attack power buff is gonna really kill anything. It would have if Praha did not do the heal. So, he did not quite get it. That is a tanky Mo Long. Look at that. All those hits barely did any HP damage to Mo Long. So I think he's just going to go for the Viva Chell now, I assume. No, he's going to go back after the Molong. See, one of the things with the Molong is that uh, it's dangerous to get Mo Lo to use Molong's Reckless if he's low on HP already. So you kind of like limit Molong. If you, if you take his HP down some, you kind of limit him to the first and second skills. Unless you're feeling uh, sassy enough and you really want to go for the Reckless and you don't even care that you're going to basically take yourself along with it, right? So then we have the switch uh, attack bar with the Shren, and we fall right up with Praha to nuke it down. So they're paying very close attention to the attack ages uh, on their team when they were doing that. So, and then Diana comes in, and she stuns Vivichel. Okay. 
Now that's so close, though. That's so close. He, they could have just detonated and actually killed the uh, Molong as well, but I guess they didn't really need to. Need to. So, and that's just there to uh, to sleep these two units. That's the only reason she used that. GG. GG though, so we actually got to see uh, kind of uh, light high, uh, some more light high elemental uh, gameplay. Very cool, these units can actually be used in RTA now, more so the Shren. I think we're going to continue to see Shren based on her ignore defense, and then she also heals here, she also heals here passively. Um, 11,000 base HP, still defense 505 is not anything too crazy, but I think we will continue to see Shren in some, uh, in some some decks throughout the course of the season. I don't think that she's going to really disappear. Maybe less people will use her, but I think that we're actually, or maybe more, I don't know. Uh, but I do believe that we will actually see Shren throughout the season. Moria, the other one that we saw today. I don't know that we're really going to see her throughout the season. She's got the stun here. Just to recap her skills, she's got the stun here. She's got this one, disturbs HP recovery, recovers 35% if the enemy dies. And then we've got this one, uh, attacks with an ally. And then the ally's attack bar is recovered by 30%. I don't know that that's necessarily good. I mean, like, you saw that she was being used. Someone was, uh, giving her a shot to actually be used. But I don't know if... Excuse me. I don't know if that person is going to continue to use her versus some other stuff. Uh, throughout the course of the rest of the season or if it's just going to be like oh it was fun to play with for a couple days and now i'm going to use something that's going to make me uh win a little bit more so anyway uh we got to see those we'll get to see some of the other ones uh later we did kind of see which one did we kind of see so far oh we basically just saw uh shren again so we did another video on shren we basically saw shren again we saw the moria too and i'm going to have videos for the other ones for you guys uh later today at the time that i'm I, I assume that I'm posting this at a certain time later today. So anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I will see you as always in the next one.